Nice of you to show up, Steve McGowan. Oh, are we doing something? <laughs> hey! Steve McGowan, ladies and gentlemen. Hello! I gotta say, I'm very impressed to see you here. I didn't believe you would be here until uh, until after the episode. That was what I was That was your, when Martin. it became real to you? Yeah. That's usually how I do my bookings. You know, we like, <laughs> I'll get booked and then I show up a day after and go, all right, I'm here. Let's do this. We've, uh, we've been doing something weekly for a little while putting something together, a little mm-hmm. segment, yeah. um, where Seymour and I just say, fuck Steve McGowan. Yeah, I've uh, heard about this. Have you? Okay. I've actually heard it. Okay. Because I do listen to the show. Okay. You, you realize that. I might not That's show good up. That you know about that. That's good. But I do listen that. to the show. No, that, that makes sense. Then. It's it, your it, attitude, Seymour. <laughs> I mean, you should really work. You mean on my it. excellent attitude? I'm not saying I have the best attitude, but your attitude bird's is eye. it is getting in the way of a lot Speaking of things. Speaking of bird's eye, so just to be clear, my good friends, mutual friends here, we have Steve McGowan in front of me. We have Chris Martin on the boards, as always. Uh, these guys are good guys, <laughs> but uh, when I put them in the room with each other, uh, there's a little animosity. Well, it's, it's, it, yeah, from him. Yeah, and well, I don't mean yeah, to yeah. point fingers. Right, sorry. Not point, I don't mean right. to point with, fingers, but all right, with your jail the yard, record show jail that, yard politics. Let the record show <laughs> that it's never, it's always been him. All right. So uh, okay, with that I'll being you said, you know, it's your room. It's so your, all right. Your place. So with that First being all, said, you know, some things to take care of. Agenda items, if you will. Agenda items, like so, new business. Okay. No, this is old business. Old business old first. Business. All right. So, what are you getting confrontational for? Taking off your hoodie? I can well, do that too. All right. You want right. to do that? You want okay, to do that? Gonna, you want to do that? Okay. okay. This is murder? serious. All, all right. right. So, Steve McGowan, yeah. friend of the show. Yeah. We love you, man. Thank You've you. done the show several times. Thank you. However, you know, we've what been doing this. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. I'll take one of those too. Give me one That's of those funny. too. Is that why? Oh, I thought he was being confrontational, taking off his hoodie, putting the chest out. Like an angry sparrow, uh, uh, like the little field going. sparrow that he is. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> ah, this is you, funny. You tricked me into taking off my hoodie. I'll take this one. Hey, I could use these. Hey, don't ruin them too much. Got to take them back. Are we actually? Yeah. Are we actually like, putting these on? Leave the tags on. <laughs> He's like, I have no use for these. I things. have a feeling I know what this is for, or what this is in uh, <laughs> retrospect for. This is getting serious. By the way, can you tell I've never done hard work? Yeah, I just know how to put these on. <laughs> All right. So oh, I like uh, how you got one that fits. They fit everything, Steve. Oh, they say on them right. fits all. I see what you're saying. <laughs> so, so in my these hand, these are nice. In my hand, I have something for you that I want you to uh, to watch. Now, to be honest with you, we love you, but this is a long time coming. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna hand it to you now. And uh, Seymour, I'll let you uh, get a get a look at this. Now, just press play, and here we go. Well, I haven't seen all these. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Clay St. Thomas. <laughs> I won't correct him ever on <laughs> mispronouncing my name. He's a UFC fighter. Clay St. Thomas is like the <laughs> nicest guy. <laughs> he called dudes, He called me a piece of shit. He meant it.
Alex Sparling. I'm Come trustworthy. On. Oh, he means it too. He means oh, it. He fucking means it. He funny. meant it. He meant that. <laughs> Sparling meant that. <laughs> Fuck you, Steve McGowan. Don't ever cancel on us again, it says. All right. Hey. Those are more. We still love you. Aww. No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten like some of the nicest people. Oh, yeah. Out there. Yeah, yeah I, to uh, really Katie mean Ellen it. Katie Ellen Humphreys is a sweetheart. Oh, you, super you nice. Yeah. To... Oh, she's such a sweetheart. I think I she her. thinks I'm a piece of shit anyway, so that just that works out. It's yeah, like... well. But the fact that uh, <laughs> so many people are yeah, on board. We're willing. Oh, well, you know what? That's uh, I like to start low and work my way up. We Let's honestly didn't even pay them that much. That's right, at all. It is. No. <laughs> yeah. the, it's the highest compliment we can pay you, my friend, is that we've been thinking of you nonstop for like 16 weeks. For what it's worth, uh, for what it's worth, I, I am I am sorry. I am. Cut to this this fucking vest. <laughs> yeah. And then, all of us do around the table right now. It's just like, killing hey, me. Do around the table on the vest. It itches. You got to get the ones. Uh, these are actually smart. You got because is this is this to do with? Uh, it's because your, of your, your, uh, your videos. It's your day videos. Job, my boss stressed out. My, the angry well, no, boss. it's just yeah. your videos on um, Instagram. Oh, on I'm his, supposed to be no on uh, on, <laughs> Snap, on, Sna- on hey. Snapchat. There's so many. Instagramming can be very dangerous. Can I just? Yeah. Can, can we comment on this real quick? Uh, I would like to say uh, safety vests aside, because I think that's a hilarious ad. What the that's fuck like, is that's happening? Seymour had such. An I was he's adamant. Like, he's like, I'm gonna get us some safety vests. Like, that's hilarious. <laughs> that is so good. Uh, okay, yo, if I could say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so good. That page girl said, fuck Steve McGowan. Yeah, she's, I, she's I, such a sweetheart. I, I've, I've, I've actually never met her. She, I think she did, uh, she was taking photos of, a uh, one of the comedy shocker shows, one of Mark Hughes' mm, shows, uh, maybe. a while back. And, yeah. and she had like a little write ups and stuff, and, and, and yeah, it was very nice. And I actually follow her on Instagram. She has a lot of really good, she's a great photographer. Yeah, she's uh, fantastic. She's yeah. fucking amazing. She's been internationally published. Whoa, whoa, she's done like whoa, whoa, whoa. and stuff. Are you? I'm just. Are you taking the best off? Readjusting. I'm oh, just goodness. Readjusting. You got me Don't really worry, worried. Boys. I'm just readjusting. Oh. Uh, some of you have tags in your face, and some of you have tags in your back. <laughs> yeah, so, that's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, people can get those removed. <laughs> yeah. You know? <laughs> I am I tagged. Take By the way, people that are listening that have no idea what's going on. So some person that's listening, like, I'll give intergalactic interviews a chance. And listen, just, <laughs> yeah, just I've chaos. got face tags yeah. over these bastards. I'm just sure crazy, them. yeah. Just chaos. That's my voice to somebody with face tags, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess your bass wasn't good enough. Something yeah, like just that. Just yeah. breaks into South Park. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's what I have to say. Chris Martin, right away, just to let you know, my friend, that was definitely worth the payoff of a fucking collecting <laughs> clips for like four months. <laughs> Clay St. Thomas even said it. Clay yeah. St. Thomas is a gem. You notice that I subtitled him in the video <coughs> as voiceover God. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. V-O-G, for sure. yeah. For sure. Yeah. He's Voice crazy. of God, yeah. maybe. Dude, he, he has done And then you get a guy in there who looks so many. exactly like Cody Audette, and it wasn't Cody Audette. It was somebody uh, with a name kind of similar to Cody Audette. Wait a minute. Was oh, a uh, producer pr- of some sort. Probably, oh, uh, Jeremy Parkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The young prodigy day. Yeah. 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 He's, a, he's a smart fella. Yeah, we like geez, him. I shaved my beard and I gained 10 pounds. By the pounds. way, cut to, cut to McGowan for a second. Yeah, McGowan. I shaved, I shaved the beard. Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Uh, I just want to take a moment to let you know about an amazing opportunity that you could take advantage of while our guest tries to make me forget this ad. But I'll let you know right now that if you have the internet or any kind of means of communication, you should definitely go ahead and contact Floathouse at floathouse.ca. You know what's amazing about Floathouse is that you get your own private stall, stall, you get your own private tank, you get your own private house coat, your own slippers, you get an amazing staff, that is absolutely guaranteed to let you know more about what exactly you're experiencing before you're like what is it you're experiencing it's called float house and it's an isolation tank what's an isolation tank well it's simply a device that lets you unlock the mysteries of your mind (laughs) mcgowan is trying unsuccessfully to get me to not do this ad properly but i'll tell you what it's because he dislikes the float house he does love float house i've never met anyone that dislikes it most people try to get me to mess up during these ads 
but I am a ninja. You're I just, pretty good. I'm Ginsu, motherfucker. I try my best. But that being said, if you are so interested in trying out Float House for yourself, we have a great opportunity for you. You can use our podcast promo code and get yourself 20% off your next float. What is that podcast promo code, MD? That's me. Uh, it's 20% off it's i i podcast that's what the podcast promo code is i i podcast that's what it is lowercase i lowercase i podcast and that gets you 20 percent off your next flow it's a great deal great value and if you're so interested in being able to check something out that's gonna like actually improve your day-to-day it's pretty amazing steve mcgowan as he knows I just want to let you know you should try it out. Go to floathouse.ca now. Uh, 20% off your next float. I, I, podcast. We float. You should float. Try it out now. Enjoy. I'm going to go to Skyrim. Float. It's going to go Skyrim. I would be surprised float. if floating is more like in video games in the future or the concept of it becomes larger as a thing. It's, I think it's, it's growing. It is growing. And you should check it out. What else? Float House. Those of you listening at home, Steve that, McGowan yeah. comes in here beardless. Acting hard. Unannounced. Acting years. hard. Talking about Skyrim. Smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new Steve, man. Oh, I like, I like the Steve? new Steve. You're getting fat and smoking dope. Acting hard. Going Plains. to Skyrim. My favorite thing. I'd rather be in Skyrim right now. I'll tell That's you that, guys, that much right now. I love you to death, but I'm sorry. Let me talk to you about Skyrim. I got a second. home in White Run. I don't need to be here. We, we would like to talk to you about <laughs> White Run. Earliest, earliest, earliest city. city yeah. I'm comfortable there, okay? Okay. Fair I could go to Solitude. The... I could go to Solitude. White Run has the best song. Are you wife, yeah, yeah, are you wifed up in no, I'm White not Run? wifed up yet in, in White Run, no. Uh, they don't or, or in Skyrim. Are you I assume you're the Jarl though. You did all that. Oh yeah, yeah I'm yeah, a yeah, dragonborn. Yeah. I met yeah, the graybeards. Yeah, yeah. I'm messing around with the companions here and there. And no big deal. I'm, I'm, I'm messing giant around killing. too much. I'm Fucking. giant killing right now. Yeah. You oh, should see my enough. potion collection. What the fuck? Potion collection? Is it a Calpernax or whatever the fuck? Everybody listening to you, are they, are they coming on each other, these nerds, with their, <laughs> with their geek boners? <laughs> Steve McGowan, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Nobody thinks I'm a nerd. Everybody thinks I'm like, I put on this, like, and then when I eat, like, they think, oh, the Marvel shirts are just, these just fucking posing. No, I'm a fucking geek. That's, that's about it. McGowan it. canceled on us two weeks in a row, which is on all this shit. Okay, and I'm so, an asshole. So too. we finally yeah. we finally got him back on the show and that's what spawned all this. And I just realized we're like, I don't know how many minutes in, but I didn't even intro the show. I was about show. to try to yeah. say that yeah, because there's no show happening. That's right. I like, yeah, I like, that's, that's the how twisted do you irony. How do you Reality. intro a piece of shit? People know it's a turd. You this just... is how you intro a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Are I'm you teasing. welcome? This is the award-winning second overall third-rate podcast of your life. Ready for that? Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing out there? This really? is Intergalactic Interviews, and this is episode 132. How are you, folks? Guess what? I'm 32 now, and Seamart's 31. We turned an age in the past. Yes, happy the, birthday, by thank, the way. Thank you, brother. Appreciate happy that. birthday to happy you. Happy birthday to you, Seamart. Yeah, Seamart. Appreciate uh, these vests you got us with the tags. Do not take the tags off, he says. No, I need to return these yeah. unless Steve really needs them. <laughs> I do need a new one for work, actually. So. I love well, you, that. That's yours, then. That's yours, then. Three. Oh, yeah, sure. Three. You can have them all. I'll tell you what. Uh, I, I'm super stoked about this, but the payoff in that that angle was definitely worth it. There was like a good 16 weeks of worth of shit in there. So I can't like, believe, cause I had seen the one with uh, Katie Ellen and I, and I, and Oh I, yeah. That was a quick little cut. That's a good one there, but I didn't know you had, to, <laughs> and then you had the, uh, we were just saying you now, had the fighter, you had the fighter dooms, Jason, Jason doomsday. Yeah. He's yeah. amazing, man, dude. He fought on his debut in the UFC. He said my name. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, he tried, tried to say my name several times. and he could say my name any way he likes. That was one of the best he ones. He can call me piece of shit and I'll say, yeah, he Thank did you. actually. He In the entirety of, of the clip edit, that was one of the best ones because he did, just continually didn't get your name. Yeah. And then finally, once he was like, oh, Steve McGowan, <laughs> fuck that guy. Like he just, yeah, knew, yeah, he just yeah, knew right yeah. away. Stumbled yeah. onto him. A little, really, little, really little frightening. Nice. little frightening. Yeah, that was really good. I, I don't know. He is a powerful human. I wouldn't want to. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. He is a you tough know, guy. If you want to see a, a funny moment, during the, we had we did two episodes of them like a two parter basically, yeah. and in the first part he talks. Um, we're talking about uh, some long long story with a lot of detail, and uh, I said something to like sidetrack like a side sidetrack question like oh what about this, and he was just like, 
why are you asking me about that kind of stuff right now? <laughs> and I, I felt the, like a like a, hair is like a like yeah like I felt like a vertebrae chill. It was uh it was oh, Jesus. it was interesting. And then yeah. and then he immediately started laughing. and was like ah oh, no I'm fine. I'm like Jesus though. He's like he could turn it on if he wants wow. to. Wow. Uh, but yeah, he's he's a fucking great guy, dude. He's Very been cool. he's been texting me like every. Uh, oh, he's on your cult every couple days. Yeah, talking. he's part of your, your cult yeah. now. He, he was asking me about keto. Keto is How, do you, how do you get on keto? And I was like, I've lost 20 pounds on keto. <clears throat> and he's like, I want to lose weight. And I was like, talk to me. And you were telling me. Yeah, just now, well, look at me. I need to, I, honestly, I've been, the last couple of years, I've just been gaining and then I'll go up and I'll go down. And it just, it, and, it, and it just, I, I, you know, I'm built like a potato sack. And it's, it's what, not. Why do you think that is? Is it possibly because you eat a lot of potatoes? No, I eat the sacks. <laughs> <laughs> I eat the sacks. <laughs> Just throw the potatoes out. No, oh, I, yeah. I need to I make some sack soup, some mashed sack soup. No, I, I. it's just plain and simple. I've just been really lazy uh, in a lot of things. And I've just been super lazy. Uh, I used to run. I used to do all that. And then I just kind of hit a hit a... I don't know. Just let's see slump. how cult we can make this. Let's well, see how, I mean, let's see how culty we can I, make I this. I know what I need to do. Steve? I can lose weight very fast. I just of am course. choosing not to. Sure. Why, why do you think that decision's there? Uh, I don't know. Just lazy. No, let's get down to it. Lazy is usually... You're trying just, to get deep on yeah, me Yeah, let's get deep. <laughs> let's get deep. I'm wearing a safety vest. <laughs> There's no danger. Well, I, you know, I don't know. Just, That's just, not how that works, but yeah. People that are listening that don't know that we're all you wearing You always got to correct vests. everybody, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, you know, submerged. sitting over there all smug. Seems His little safety saying, vest. Like, yeah. it's good for visibility, but not for like... Gets me purposely a medium himself a... Do you know no, they're large? Fits all. They okay. Fit, yeah. The one fits all right. All. Did you Fucking know that? Dickhead. <laughs> uh, the reason why he may be so corrective all the time is that his original position on our previous show, Doggy was, Style, was Sorry. fact. Yeah. <laughs> fact checker. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you take. I'm sh- okay. But that's why he was a fact checker. He was a fact checker for, for a fact while. checker. Yeah. Like he, right. he would just. We would talk shit, and then he would jump in with like, "Actually," and like, would you know, he'd be. Cool you are him. a smart guy, which, which, He's a smart fellow, which you know. Uh, sometimes that can be mistaken for being pedantic. I was gonna say a little boy, <laughs> or that pedantic, or that. I love that even after. What does pedantic mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like a fucking smart ass villain just <laughs> he knew, right? I've gathered all the smartest words in the world and nobody else can know <laughs> what they are and I shall throw them upon you in our battle of wit you sound a little bit like Jeff Garland there for a sec a little Jeff Gar- <laughs> well, with his ha 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 dude that's a pretty that's a bang on uh, well, Jeff Garland thank you I've been working on that for 20 seconds now <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a uh, I have a, a strong notion to get to the bottom of this yeah, because okay. you, when people say that they're they're feeling lazy, generally that is actually just a placeholder for a real situation, like it's something else that they're just avoiding. It's not just lazy physically. I mean, yeah, no, I'll be open with it. it, it I've just been lazy with a lot of things. I've been lazy with my comedy. I've been lazy with my with my writing. I've been lazy with my motivation. Just everything, really. And I, I, I don't know. I think I'm just kind of, you know, I'm 36 now. Right. And I think I'm just kind of going, oh, man, you know what? It, it's overplaying my head. Like, oh, I should have started comedy when I was younger. I've only been doing it six years. I've been doing it all my 30s. I should have done it in my 20s. And that whole thing's playing. When did you, when did you start comedy? Uh, when I was when I turned 30. 31. So 31. So you've been doing it five years? But just coming up six. Bro. Six in June. So in five years, you've already accomplished a lot of things that a lot of people haven't done in like 10 years. Well, I, I, sure. So on a positive spin, let yeah. me just okay. throw it to you another way. There is most likely a, a strong indicator here that like if you feel in many aspects of your life that you're not doing what you want to do, it's probably not because you're not doing the right things. It's probably because you're, the reward systems mm-hmm. that are set up naturally in life for mm-hmm. you to experience like bang. Like, yeah. like you just, when you hit a goal, you hit a milestone yeah, yeah. and suddenly you're just like in this next echelon of like, whoa, I feel like I leveled up. Mm-hmm. When, you, when people joke about that, but then they actually do level up. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. So When you level up in Skyrim, when you get your perks, yeah, you go right This up. is a very and relatable get, point. It is, because when you get that sound, by the way, I'm just recently into Skyrim. I know I'm yeah. like five years too late. No, this is my favorite. <laughs> it's just like six or seven. Way, people yeah, are going, Skyrim, fine. how old is this podcast? Yeah. <laughs> McGowan, by the way, walked up and was like... Take a big drag of a smoke. 
I just bought a home in White Run. <laughs> I'm yeah, like, yeah, what are like, you like, talking about? <laughs> like Skyrim. I'm moving like, moving up, man. Yeah. And moving then I was like, I was like, up. oh, so you're playing the remastered version on PS4 with all the mods? He's like, fuck no, PS3. I was like, who starts, <laughs> who starts Skyrim in 2017 here's the thing. Here's where on I'm, PS3? Here's where I'm lazy, but I'm not wow. lazy. So I haven't got a PS4. I never got it. I have some PS3. I have been neglecting my PS. It's like I'm trying to be lazy. Right. So I've been neglecting my PS3. <laughs> I've been neglect- neglecting my PS3. I haven't been playing it. Uh, I haven't been video gaming in a very long time. Uh, also, haven't smoking a pot in a very long time. Right. So recently, they go well together. Yeah. Right. And so recently, I've been kind of like, ah, you know, I want to drink less. I want to, you know, uh, go out less. If I have a show, I'll go to the show. I'll go home. I'll, I'll just if I have to be in a bar, it's for a show. If right. I have to, you know, all that kind of crap. So and I and I just for whatever reason, I I kind of was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna. I'm going to chill. I'm just going to start playing video games and write. I have been writing more. I have been getting over yeah. that slump. I've been having, you know, I'm sick of all the jokes I've been well, we're telling. T- so okay, I've been yeah, because we were just talking about that, though. Like, like just yeah. to come back to that for a sec. Like, yeah. the reward systems that are set up naturally. Yeah. So when you write a new joke or you flesh out a new bit and you have, like, this this overwhelming sense of yes. Yeah. Do you know what I'm, you know what I'm oh, talking yeah, about? Yeah. When you're few and far between those yeses, yeah. you suddenly... It's like, it's like not having enough oil in the machine. Oh yeah. So you're like, it's much better if I put the machine on the couch and I play Skyrim. Totally, totally. And that kind of thing. So it's like actually no one's fault. No. It's just your you seriously need to readjust I, those totally, reward totally. systems. I think like, I'm I, I, I'm going down the right way about it because I'm spending more time doing the you know just kind of like sitting in the room on your own by yourself and just going, okay, let's, let's kind of have some ideas. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm kind of getting into this group where I'll play some fucking Skyrim. Yeah. And you're then, making Skyrim jokes. And then I'll be, no, oh, Skyrim damn jokes. It. no, no, I'm uh, <laughs> yeah, well, and, and then, and then I'll be like, okay, no, what am I doing? That's, and then, but I'm kind of in this chill kind of, my mind is more relaxed because you know, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, like I'm, I'm whatever this is, and rambunctious. Ram, sure, let's go with rambunctious. <laughs> um, the teachers He's never called a it a wild man. Yeah, the teachers <laughs> never call it ADD. They just went send them to another class. That's, That's right. what I thought. <laughs> and uh, and so uh, no hallway could hold me. And so then, so anyway, so then I'll kind of get this kind of this this state where I'm like, oh. And, and then I'm like, no, I okay, no, I'm here. What am I doing? I'm not playing video games. I'm, yeah. I'm going to write. So I'll play some video games, and then I'll write. And it's actually, it is kind of working. I'm getting over That's this. That's it. See, like right this, there. The you, slump. And you even just, just when I have something written with the award system thing you're talking about, yeah. I'll have something written, and I'll go, fuck, I don't know if this is good. I haven't told it. That's it could it be is. shit. But I wrote something. You're this like, is great. You're literally reworking your, your <laughs> synapses. Every comedian listening to is like, yeah, that's how writing works. Yeah. You write, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> well, does it help? Do you find, does it... Why isn't McGowan where he should be? Because he's a fucking moron. It's but does it help, though? Because yeah. Skyrim and other, like, RPGs, like, especially in-depth RPGs, have a lot of, like, reading and oh, dialogue yeah. in general. And, and so many like, books to read in Skyrim. I have sure, not yeah. read as many books in real life than I have in Skyrim. <laughs> well, they're also, like, eight pages. <laughs> but... Yeah, but I'm self-reading. <laughs> and this is also, too, where the weed, like, like uh, you know, it's been over 12 years since I smoked weed, like, smoked, smoked weed. Um, so you're just back on it. I, yeah, because I didn't want to be drinking. So, and a lot of my, my friends that smoke weed and everything, they're just like, you know, hey, just start smoking weed. And I'm like... It is better. And you know what? Yeah, because when I smoke weed, I'm not going to drink. I just, I don't combine the two. Like, right. Are you kidding me? Mm. I would just, I, my head would explode and just, that'd be it. And then, so I'm smoking the weed and at first little bit, it, it, I'm kind of like, I wouldn't say, oh, the writing's better or anything like that, but I'm more, I'm more just chill. I've turned the, the, I've calmed myself down into mm. a state where it's, and of course every pot smoker is going, yeah, that's what pot does, you yeah. idiot. Like, you you're find not yourself reinventing like, the wheel right now or anything. Yeah. Do you but find yourself, me, no, go ahead. Oh, I was mean, do you find yourself obsessing over like, Inventory shit, like managing oh, things. Oh god! You're just like in my house in Skyrim. Yeah. I, in my house in Skyrim, I have a drawer for the potions, a drawer for the ingredients, I find like, a drawer for staffs. 
I, I, got, I, and I, okay. I will spend two hours organizing my fucking home I know, and Skyrim. And get nothing done. And get nothing done. Nothing done and in then the game. I, but then I'll sit there and go, what the fuck is wrong with me? And then I go, I need to write something. And yeah. Then, oh, and okay. Then, and, then, and then I'll make a coffee. That's kind of cool, though. So that, it is. I'm finding this really weird combination. Yeah. That's like you're, you're rewriting your your reward system right there. I, I think I am. Because yeah. before, like, what's your writing system? What's your writing system? And what, uh, you know, I, I what I used to do was go to the pub, sit down, and have a beer, and just kind of, you know, people watch or whatever, or go for a walk and just be out. Anytime something would come up, you just kind of write it down. But like I said, uh, the jokes that I'm telling now, I, I don't like them. I, I want to have a whole new 30 minutes. I want to have a whole new... Well, once you know... But, it's and like and a I have a lot, Yeah, and I have yeah. a lot of jokes that I'm sitting on. I, I don't know if it's good or bad. I have, a, I have so much shit written down right now that I'm going... Like, I always have too much. I'm like, no, I need to go back to this. And what I need to be doing, I haven't been doing this for well over a year, is going to the open mics every Dude, day. Dude, you got to go. Day. Just test I need it out. To, what, yeah. I, what I need to do is just turn everything off, do what I used to do. Treat it like it's your first month of comedy. Dude, You're pumped about it. Exactly. Go at every open mic. Go up and bomb. I, this is therapeutic. I'm getting out what I have also to do. Also, like, <laughs> I, I no. suck now. <laughs> I used to be so funny. Well, this is, this is why we want you on the show to talk about this. Because, I know, man. Because here's I know. the thing. Here's the thing. I'm starting to sweat. That I means be, it's working. Because and now you won't stop sweating for two hours. Now I won't stop sweating yeah. for two hours. Uh, <laughs> I, I believe in what the fuck you're doing. Like I see something here. Okay. Yeah. Like I see something in what you're doing. Like I, I've watched you several times. I've, I've you know, I, I think uh, since we've been introduced to each other, mm. I've always been like. That fucking McGowan. There's something there. Grinder, what do you do? I'd love to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You haven't told your wife yet, yeah, have no, you? No, not, oh, not, Jesus, not at all. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, that would no. be a fun Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I reveal it at Christmas? Because I'm bringing the ham. I don't know. It was just so, I, anyway, sorry, go on. Steve wearing his fucking sweater comes in. Hey. Hey. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. This is the strangest strange right scenario. Now. This is so weird. What a strange oh, scenario. Oh, God. Anyway. This episode brought to you in part by Safety Tech. Safety. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even do it. I know. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll slide it in there. Yeah, oh, don't worry. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a segue halfway through here. People sure, know what's okay. up. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. Yeah. Uh, the reason I'm talking about this is because I believe in what the fuck you're doing so much. I think mm. you're dope, dope talent. Thanks, I man. think that Thank if, you. if you started to apply yourself at, on a lot more yeah, yeah like but the, I'm, I'm becoming self-aware of yeah, what you're saying to yeah, the level of what i believe yeah. you can do i think that you'd be you, you'd be fucking joking you'd be laughing about this right now you'd be like there's yeah. no way yeah, i yeah. ever felt like this yeah, because yeah. here's the thing you're fucking funny but that feeling Thanks, you're man. talking about when you're like i don't like my jokes anymore here's Just the thing doubting yourself yeah. it, it's not like they're not funny you know they kill but there's like a comfort in that yeah. and that you know that like hey they kill but that feeling you know, like right before you're about to go on, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna relate this to music because, yeah, 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 I'm gonna relate this to music because you know those beats, you yeah. know, you know when certain reactions are gonna occur, sure. like you yeah. know all that stuff. Yeah. Um, the predictability of that, though, as a performer, kills your performance. Oh yeah, because you're, there's no spontaneity. No, that, no, know? and that's the th yes, exactly. It's like playing that song over and yeah. over again. It's like me telling that joke over there's and over again. It's just a like, vibe to it. Can, like it's just missing. Yeah, you know? like you <laughs> could throw you could throw tags in. You could throw tags in on there and stuff, which is fine and everything. And it's just like, you know, and it's like, oh god damn. It, 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 yeah, I had fun with that tag, but I hate the rest of it. So it's mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, or you get to the point where you even worse, yeah. you start cutting tags. From it because oh, you yeah. don't even want to do that mm. bit anymore, but you know you, you start have to fill three. Yeah, you start shortcutting your exactly. Jokes and that's when you're that's running what I'm talking into about. trouble. Because yeah. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, like so. Instead of doing all three verses on the song, I'm just gonna do two because right. I, yeah. I really do the short. Yeah, version. this is do not, the radio edit yeah. version. This is yeah. not for me anymore. Yeah, <laughs> but like, it's a weird uh, yeah. kind of it's a it's kind of weird in music in the sense that they expect someone, it. Yeah, they want to hear it. Whereas in comedy, you almost kind of want it to be. Different. New, yeah, you want fresh. Oh, yeah. It's kind of it's, yeah. it's it's similar from a from some point of view or from the performer point of view, but from an audience point <coughs> right. of view, it actually is kind of weird in that way. It, you right? know, it's yeah. a weird it's mixture. Odd. Yeah, you, do you it's, know, what's it's, a, you, you know, it's a weird mixture of that though. Like yeah. the, because of those two points, because I've I've heard that before. Like uh, like about how like music is like yeah, like the Rolling Stones. People want to hear fucking mm -hmm. brown sugar and yeah. like you know like they want to they want to hear jumping jack flash and yeah. they don't give a shit about the new album or whatever yeah yeah fuck. exactly right yeah. sure so like yeah. it's weird but like you know it's a weird fucking blend of those those two counting uh, crows <laughs> the counting crows i'm serious they no. always switch it up they change the lyrics every oh time oh my god not every time can he's gonna just drop a can counting you just crows quit reference? The show <laughs> right now <laughs> counting crows <laughs> eat a dick it's been a crows. long oh, december god, come on. 
Give me a reason to believe. Hey, this who needs the blowfish over Counting Crows? I no, have no, a new, no, oh, no. I have a new segment, dead. by the way. It's called no uh, Eat a Hootie. Fuck you, Steve McGowan. <gasps> How dare you? <he> <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, though. The, uh, <laughs> if there wasn't all this safety no, gear in front of us, I'd tell you. Well, tell you know you. what's funny is, is in saying that, I had this really weird... Oh, wait, I didn't get to say my thing. Sorry, no, sorry, I sorry. sorry. I interrupt. Sorry. No, go ahead. So the hybrid between those two worlds, like between music and comedy, the fact that like the expectations of the crowd... The weird hybrid between those two is professional wrestling. It is because everyone mm. wants to see the signature move, mm -hmm. but no one wants yeah. to see the same finish over and over again. Yeah. They want to see. Isn't that fucking weird? Or porn, they, they, right? Or porn? They, like you like an actor? I'm going down that avenue with you, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you like an actor? You like the way she approaches the business? He or she? Yeah. They? 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 Sure. Z? Zays. People? It's the world we live in now. The people that anybody are performing. Anybody can fuck and anybody can film it. That's right. Yes. What a but can anybody sell it? Ah. Ah. ah yes. Ah. So I just went to Jeff Goldblum there for a second. Ah. 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 Ooh, ah. Ah. Yes. Is that ah. some chaos and, theory? Uh, and uh, the, uh, that's uh, how it starts. And uh, porn will uh, find a way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> porn finds the way. It's really strange though. With all that said, I had this really weird encounter uh, at, at Yuck Yucks uh, a, co a couple weeks ago, uh, and so I was hosting and. It, 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 it all kind of is making sense now. So I'm hosting, and I brought up the headliner, and I'm off stage. And it was a good show. It was going well. It was a good crowd. Yeah. I was feeling myself, but I wasn't feeling, you know, the, the, when you're, you know, I was hosting, so I was doing crowd work and interacting and all that kind of stuff, and it, which was fun and everything. Right. And, did you and, do your Tinder and, bit? And, no, no, I, I left things out. There was, but the the jokes that I did get into, right? Um, I actually did do the Tinder bit, but uh, I did it early on. But anyway, so then the 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 scripted jokes that I did do, I wasn't really feeling it. I was kind of like... It's that feeling we talk about. It's a, Yeah, and, I, and I, I, I was like, nah, I think I should just go back to... So then afterwards, after I brought up the headliner, and again, it was still a good... But, you know, we're our toughest critics. Like, I could have right. been a 10 out of 10. I was finding a way to make myself feel like a 3 out of 10. Sure. And so I'm off stage, and this 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 uh, lady, this middle-aged woman, she walked by, she used the washroom, then she came out, and she's like, hey, can I talk to you for a second? I'm like, yeah, sure, okay. Yeah. Kind of thinking like, ooh, ooh, maybe I, but I don't usually offend. I've never been, you know, maybe in my early months of comedy, you'll be <laughs> like, you, go away. And, and that was last month. And uh, <laughs> hours ago. <laughs> that was hours ago. Yeah. And, and she took me aside and she said, she goes, you know what, I, I, I dig, what did she say? She goes, she said, I, I really dig what you're doing. Um, but I, if I could just let you know, maybe like you, you have it, but you need to progress more. Wow. Yeah. And I was like, it was very raw. It was very just to wow. the point. But, but, and I asked her and I'm not what I will take, you know, no, of any course. kind of, even if she had said it, like, I think you're a dick, you should stop. I'd be like, yeah, okay. You know what? That's your Fair enough. To that. That is Fair true. Enough. Your attitude towards that stuff is pretty open. I will say. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I, I think mean, it's the only way you I literally, it's the only way I know how to be. I literally right. just saw us play a compilation video of fuck Steve McGowan and your reaction was to <laughs> laugh and be like, Yeah, yeah, I kinda of deserve it. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I don't know any other way. So yeah, you did it pretty well. Well yeah, so then I'm and I'm taking what she says. So I, <laughs> my first reaction was like, Okay, well what what exactly do you mean? Like yeah. like tell me yeah, yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, walk and, me but she it. couldn't be specific. She said, Oh no, I just and I was like, Well, wait a minute, no, no, no. Let's, then it kinda of got kinda of weird and I was like, No, let's be a little specific. Tell me. Like, like let me know. And she's like, You just you need to, uh, you have personal stuff and you have not, she kept it very general and she just said, she just kind of kept going, you need to progress more. You have it, but progress more. And then it kind of was like, oh, okay, well, thank you very much. Come back to another show. Maybe you'll see a different set or a different right. thing or right. whatever. Uh, don't let, she goes, no, no, I'm still enjoying myself. And I was like, this is kind of strange. You're not really giving me too much. Uh, and then we kind of parted ways. Right. And then I kind of thought about it afterwards and was like, that was really strange. But now it's kind of like, I think because... Uh, yeah, I was holding back. I wasn't having fun with the, jo right. with the jokes that I was see, doing. I was see, like, I need to progress that's and it. write more jokes. It took she, a fucking stranger to kind of smack me in the she, face. And say it, she's but. like a fucking angel, to tell you that. It was really she's, strange. She's, she's, a, happened, she's yeah. an angel. First of all, she could have just came up and been like, I didn't enjoy that. Yeah, and blah, it blah, wasn't, blah. wasn't mean she, about it no, at all. No, of course not. No, no, no. But like, uh, here's the thing. She is basically saying what I'm telling you. Which is like, which is strange. Which, which is, is really like, weird, what, tripping over. Yeah, yeah, which is right. That actually so, was MD. That was me, and that's this is the great reveal. I want to tell it's you right now. You are an ugly woman. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> you I, are I, short for a woman too. I mean, uh, uh, you know, the Johns <laughs> never turn me down there. Right. No, but uh, I, I, I was thinking like, I'm going to tell your mother. Tell your mother. <laughs> I had a, a, a feeling when you were telling me that story though, where I was just like, this person, very well 
could just be like that. Like, what do you need? You need someone close. You need a friend like me to tell you, and you need a fucking stranger. It was blue. really strange because I, I I've never had that happen before. I've had people you, you know the, the good stuff, and then you've had some people kind of. Uh, we'll, we'll talk you're, to the other comedian yeah. as you leave the show. Like, hey, you're really funny, and then they kind of look at you like, mm. mm-hmm. and whatever that comes <laughs> with the territory. I'm not yeah. for everybody. Nobody's for everybody. But it was yeah, it was really strange how it happened, yeah. and it really kind of it didn't bug me. But I, I wanted to want her to be more specific. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she wasn't, and she just kind of said what she wanted to say. And now it didn't. In retrospect, yeah, it does make sense. Like she could, I guess she could tell that I wasn't. And of course, I always say if the audience smells fear, then but it wasn't fear. It was she That's could tell thing, I wasn't though. having. Fu- I wasn't having fun. That's it. Like I used to have. She may have been like hypersensitive to that. Like Could've she, been, yeah. because the reality is like, that's not, th- that's what we're talking she's about. She's smelling my there's psychosphere. A, and there's it was, a very mm, like good. nuanced little thing when you're in the crowd, when you know that the, the performers either doing it live, mm-hmm. like, like really in the moment yeah. or if they're just running through Scripted the motions. Yeah. yeah. Totally, because totally, totally, totally. those beats are not as organic yeah. and you, you know, yeah. you could just you could hit tell. that bass a little more. Right. You could hit that right. bass a little more. That's it. Like, you know, that's why you watch, uh, that's why I love watching jazz performers, man. Yeah. Because yep. you're watching like one of one. Like a lot of those performances are like unrepeatable. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. uh, they're they're one of one. So jazz drummers are, are right. Yeah, I know. So you're yeah. watching you're watching these performances. By the way, you ever seen the movie Whiplash? Of course. Just watched it for the first time about two months ago. Really? Yeah. Great movie. Great oh, film. Wow. Why Fucking have I never film. seen that? Anyway. Yeah. Sorry, My sorry. favorite part is yeah. when he's like so. For the spoiler, last spoiler, so for the last father fucking time, and that's why I was like, <laughs> yeah, Jesus, was, you're looking down there for a Mars bar. Look at me, yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. so good. I don't want you losing uh, sight on your tuning just because you have your mind on a happy meal. Hey, yeah, fucking. it was so good. It uh, was good. I watched the movie, and from beginning to end, watch, it was intense. Uh, you watch Oz, uh, the, the the prison television show. Yeah, the, I watched a bit of it when the it was man on. rape show. No, the <laughs> That's right, the man raping show. Uh, it was always on Showcase or something, wasn't it? It was on like yeah, Showcase. Or yeah, HBO I, or something. I watched a bit of it, and and, and no, I never, I never really. Got Quasi into Thomas it. got me into Oz. Is that right? Yeah. He was like friend of the show, friend of the show. Quasi's uh, Quasi's awesome. Love Quasi. Right? Awesome. Quasi Thomas says to me because I think actually him and I were talking about Whiplash, yeah. and I was like, "Yo, wasn't that dude on Oz or something?" He's like, "Are you serious? You, yo, yo." You've never seen Oz, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, no. He goes, yo, dude, okay, yeah. yo, okay, gotta get you. And then like, so I were started. Were you on Oz Crazy? No, but I was on everything else. That's right, <laughs> dude. He is killing it he's right now. He's everywhere, right? man. Did he's... you see his Twizzler commercial the other day? <laughs> really? Got... No, no, I haven't. Surprised me that he's it's in fucking it. hilarious. Yeah. You, uh, I'd say just play it, but I don't know if they want to fucking. Uh, I couldn't. Uh, yeah. The fuck. It's on, on the main Twizzler YouTube right. channel, which, by the way, is necessary. <laughs> that you, that, Nestle yeah. Siri? It's, I don't know if it's Nestle. No, I don't know. Geez. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Why you gotta ruin a good time? All right. You know what? Just set it to bird's eye and let's let's call it a show. Yep. You, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I I have to tell you, Seymour was adamant throughout the weeks that we collect all the fuck you footage. It was so I, good. I actually I, I it's that's really funny. I, I think I think it was great. It was fucking. Dude, some of the people. Well, first of all, a lot of people are probably like, "Who the fuck is Steve McGowan?" Like, yeah. Why, like, why? And why do I care? But how about this? <laughs> we finally told them a story beforehand to try to get them in the mindset. That's the crucial part. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little directing. If yeah. You will. Oh, okay. Yeah. We framed it. Yeah. 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 Like you direct on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show. <laughs> no, we did. <laughs> yeah, we did our first take the other day. So. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I think. Uh, I think that that compilation should be added onto Supercut forever. Yeah, like it's what was it like two minutes and forty seconds or something right now? It was it was pretty good because the first cut, good. the first one was just Katie Ellen yeah. was like I think maybe fifty nine seconds or something. Yeah. So it's just growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you ever cancel again, <laughs> <laughs> which I intend to, when you will, <laughs> oh, when you cancel again, when you, when I cancel, <laughs> yeah. so when you cancel, yeah, yeah, no. No, this is this is I don't. This is basically the only podcast I do. I don't you, get asked to be. Have on you ever done? Uh, <laughs> I don't really do that. I don't. Can I, we I talk do. about the other? Yeah. The, have you ever done uh, stop podcasting yourself? No. That makes no, but that makes three of us. Don't worry. Yeah. We've, we've, no, no. Um, I <laughs> no, I mean, have listened to it. I don't listen to a lot of podcasts. I mean, I have. Um, you, you know, but I, I, not as much as I once did. I used to listen to podcasts all the time. Uh, Rogan, what I mean Bill is, can Burr's, we talk about the other podcast? Stop podcasting yourself that you had done before. Me, yeah. no, I don't think McGowan's ever done podcasts. I there was one that me and a friend Regan Kerr 
uh, started. Sorry, oh. does Seymour have like some inside yeah, info? Yeah, well, no, no it was I thought he, he. It was his. Oh. It was. I think Seymour might have think because because you're wearing a safety vest that possibly you were involved with steel toes required. Is that, oh, no. Is that not? No. no. Okay. No, I've never been I on that one. that up. Never no, that was uh, James Kennedy, Steph McNeil, and Ryan Williams. That's right. Yeah. I'm a piece of shit. No. <laughs> oh, funny. shit. Yeah. Steel toes required. Yeah. Wait, did you just call out all three members of that show? I would just, I don't know. I nope. think you, I cut to C-Mart for are, a sec. Are you, are you going to start like a guilt cam? Put on, nope. the guilt, put on the guilt cam for a sec here. Well, I want to, no, I want people to see your reaction when I question you here. See, Mark, here we go. <laughs> Is that on? That's you? I don't think you're on, are you? Uh, okay, guilt cam coming up. See, Mark, do you know that James Kennedy could probably bench press you? Do you know that? Yeah, he's a big guy. <laughs> he's a, all those guys. Do you yeah. know that Ryan Williams could fucking... I, you, you could potato sack carry. I remember like, that I'm in the wrong <laughs> now. Uh, Ryan Williams is like... Uh, Ryan I, Williams is a good time. I always tell Ryan, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, a collegiate athlete, Ryan Williams. Yeah. He's like, he's like, yeah, I did play like a collegiate. Yeah. 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 It's so funny. We, we, I love and, that guy. Me and Ryan were we did a, a, a road gig, some of Kamloops, I think, and on our way back we stopped in Merritt for some food, and there was like a, a football team, was it like a college team or something like that, some sort of a. Of course, he sniffed it out. Oh yeah, we're sitting there and he's <laughs> and he's and he's eating. He's like. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to these guys and everything he gets off. And he, you know, he knew some of the football other networking. players and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and he just you're like you're here for comedy, and he's and like, he was, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. And it was just uh, he just he, he knew the players and he knew he, he knew the league and he just knew just kind of looking at a couple of them. Like, oh wow, shit, you know our stuff. Right. Last but time he was on our he, show, he, he told us the most amazing tale about how like he lost his wallet on four separate occasions, <laughs> including one time where this is true, he was in the cab. As the cab meter was running up, he realized he's like, oh, this is like 30 or 40, 50 dollars, something like that. He's drunk as a skunk and just was like, well, here's logic for you. And he just rolls down the window as the car is already driving. He's nowhere near his home and just throws his wallet out the window. <laughs> and he, yeah, and he, yeah this is the bet. And then he's like, well, I guess I'll just get that later. And, then, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, what did the cab say? He's like, he didn't. Like, he what are you going to do? Oh, I don't have my wallet. Yeah, like, yeah. like like I, I think funny. that was fucking really That's funny. funny. Yeah. Um. I, I see. Going back to the weed thing. Yeah. It's really been. It's been calming. Well, I used to work at a bong factory. It, Did you know that? No. Yeah, I used to work at a bong factory, like a like a, a place that sold and assembled bongs. Factories, like one of, bongs. One of the largest largest North American warehouses. Uh. Period. Period. They're not made in some guys. Basement that has no. like one of those actually glass well glass smelting. blowing yeah this <laughs> was like it, right? this was like ten <laughs> minutes ten, ago ten oh, yeah. minutes ago yeah this is like <laughs> this was yeah. ten minutes ago when I that's why I'm wearing the vest yeah, yeah. Now, this is like ten or eleven years ago yeah and uh, when I was working there at the time my I'm not gonna say the name no I, I don't think we need to get all right uh, but but at the same time at the same time. Uh, I had never at that point worked uh, like a nine to five yeah. and that was my first nine to five was, for, a, bong was a bong wow. factory. Yeah. Shit. So um, after that I ended up, I've worked a gang of those yeah. since then, <laughs> but, but, uh, at, but that job mm -hmm. was pretty, pretty crazy because um, you were smoking like, first of all, just to be in, th in like just thrusted into that culture right away yeah. was pretty crazy. But yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, it was just wild because I was smoking a lot of weed already personally, but then you go to work and smoke like four or five times a day. Right. And then you go home and smoke personally like two or three times. Yeah, yeah. Like I was just permanently high. So I got to the other side, like yeah. after about two, two, three <laughs> years of that. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. After about three years of that, I was like, wow, uh, being sober, feels high well yeah it, it, and i used to like back when i said it's been over 12 years like you know i, I in high school and all that did yeah. smoke it quite a bit and yeah. everything but now you know i just stopped smoking mm -hmm. for whatever reason i just kind of quit and then and then i i got i got back into it there was a couple times uh i think brett martin got me to smoke a joint once at a show shout out to brett martin's show brett, martin. we love what the fuck up? brett hasn't done the show since like episode fucking Brett's 30 always here. awesome love that guy yeah. he, right. sorry go ahead yeah and so anyway i remember one time this was like maybe two years ago we were at a show and just doing like you know five minute bits here and there and just like an open mic type thing 
And he and I smoked some, and I literally I just said I can't do the show. I gotta go. I'm not doing my spot. Somebody else do my spot, and I fucking got my car and drove back to Langley. To <laughs> the other time was allegedly my my my, to- allegedly, <laughs> my tolerance yeah. was eat a dick. My tolerance <laughs> has gotten better though because so I did a a, a, a we, one of those weed rooms. Um, Again, a couple of years ago. It's like an escape room where they just have a door. Uh, yeah. No <laughs> it, was it, out. Place, it was this place on, not Main. God, where was it? Maybe it was on Main Street somewhere. And it was like this house that they turned into like a bit of a bar kind of type thing. I think it's since not there anymore. It's not the fancy one on whatever street yeah. that has like the, the, it's fancy and they sell stuff in the front and yeah. you go in the back and it's like. Zeppelins fucking cropping down rock soup fucking weed yeah. down. no they did they had this like little That's Zeppelin insane. they had this like miniature Zeppelin thing contraption going around just like just huffing weed Huff, smoke huffing. Into, I'm not making this shit no up. I believe you thank fully. you I so do. anyway but of course me I'm so out of the weed game I remember going to this thing and it's like a weird spectacle I, I, go, to, I go to this I was, just, I was just doing a spot on the show and we go and uh, we, I show up, you know, early. I got the time wrong, and I show up like an hour early. And I'm like, oh, let's kill some time. And the guy, I remember, this is weird. They had the 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 the, uh, the vending machine of weed, and there's people in there just dosing up. And, yeah. You know, you can tell there's people in there that need it. That, sure. Uh, yeah. For, for medical reasons. And, Absolutely. And, and there's people who are just having a good time. And I'm like, yeah, I'll just hang out. The guy's like, do you have a card? And I'm like, card? No. Oh, one of those? No, I don't. I don't really smoke weed. I used to. And the guy's like, cool, whatever. Uh, doesn't <laughs> like, care. Yeah, he just totally doesn't care. <laughs> I'm asking care. for the cameras. I, I'm learning yeah. that you don't tell. <laughs> it's cooler to tell people that you just leave out the part I used to smoke weed. It's like, yeah. whatever. So then he's like, you know, you should, uh, you, you, you are going to get high if you stay in here for a while. We don't have like proper <laughs> ventilation. And I'm like, yeah, you turned a house into a fucking weed. weird. <laughs> no shit. You don't have proper ventilation? Interesting. Your porch is falling apart. Yeah. Last thing yeah. I was going to think was. <laughs> Your residential dispensary yeah. shocks yeah, me. Yeah, their AC is yeah. probably up to par. So then. <laughs> it's all the code. I was like, okay, no, no, I'll be fine. So then I hung out and everything, and we're and we're you know more of the comics are showing up, and and there's more, there's a crowd that forms. And this was the first weed room that I had ever done. And right. I was told, I think it was Brett Martin actually that told me. And he's like, ooh, if you do a weed room, just you know, just stay, just be careful. You know? uh, <laughs> oh, is this the one up on commercial? There was two. There was one on Main and one on commercial. But this this particular one, I remember there was like comedy shows being run out. Yeah, of yeah, it was kind of up on the hill, yeah. sort. Yes. And I only know this because I still have so many people I know allegedly. In the industry. This was actually allegedly. the first time yeah. I met <laughs> Kathleen McGee. Kathleen McGee was the headliner at this show oh, and she had first shut the fuck up man i'm gonna come over there and i swear <laughs> to God, say allegedly one more time man i'm gonna call sorry sorry i just need to smoke a joint it's getting, right a, it's just, getting, a, it's getting a little ooh, kajit in here Jesus, right? look at him look at him look at him okay. he knows what he's doing getting a little kajit so the so anyway so and we and so i was like you know i'll be fine and uh and amber harper young was there too i remember there's a whole bunch of people and i don't think amber harper smokes weed or smoked weed or whatever but anyway so we do the show um They've got, you know, instead of uh, booze, they have, you know, vitamin waters and snacks and stuff. So I started taking part in the snacks. They got this free, like, trail mix kind of bags just kind of for the comics. And I'm eating that and everything. Well, uh, uh, little did I know that, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, they're they laced with a little mm-hmm. bit of the fun stuff. And I'm going, I didn't know that. Nobody told me. So anyway, uh, is that your first edible experience? Yeah, I never really That's ate, not ate good. before. I never, yeah, I never, That's ate, not I good. never did the weed cookies. Even when I did smoke weed and all that, That's I a never game did the edible. Yeah, I never did the edible stuff. I, I never sat on a couch for seven hours. It's a completely different it. experience. Well, yeah. So I go up to do my my set, and it's just a seven minute jammer, and I right. go up and and yeah, and I'm going, oh shit, no, wait a minute. And there was a guy with a mustache in the front row, <laughs> and I focused in on that. And I didn't realize kind of what was happening. And they literally had fans blowing the, the smoke for maybe 40 people in this small congested area, dosing, dosing, dosing. Just like secondhand. And this, yeah. And I'm taking that in. And, you know, I it just felt like a house cat at a fucking party. Wow. And I was, but I was like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. And, and for whatever reason, I just did like two minutes on this guy's mustache and how it was like an awning for his teeth and just went into this whole, <laughs> went into this whole thing. And, That's good. And then people start laughing. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm doing stuff. Thanks. <laughs> and they had a speaker here right by my head. And I'm going, ooh, fuck, that's my voice. And and then I kind of started going. Oh, and I remember no. Kathleen McGee just in the back, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. And then, and then so the I did my, and it was fun. And everything I got off, I was like, holy shit. And then uh, found out that, yeah, that the trail mix was whatever. Um, and we, we all were hanging out. Kathleen was doing her thing. And, and I remember Amber Harper Young was sitting in a chair. And I, I thought she was on her phone. And she's, you know, her hair was kind of down both sides. And it looked like she was on her phone like this, kind of talking. Like a phone to her ear. 
yeah, and I and yeah. I and I and I was gonna leave. I was like, hey Amber, hey Amber, and and she and then she kind of looked up at me. <laughs> she wasn't on her phone. She was just leaning forward. She was she I, she was baked as well too, and she just kind of looked up and and was like. Uh, uh. <laughs> and, just like, no. and I was like, no, no, and okay, you can't help me, I can't help you. <laughs> back to where you yeah, were. Yeah, back to where you were, and, and she was like, I'll be okay. I'm like, all right, and then I'm like, I have to get the fuck out of here. So I leave and get in my car, and I go, and I'm like, of course I'm telling myself, I'm like, no, who gets contact high? That's not even a thing. Like, maybe the trail makes sure. Major thing. Maybe the trail makes sure. So I stop at the the Chevron, I get some food, I get some chips, because whatever, and, uh, and I'm driving home back to Langley, and I remember I, I took the bridge, and there was a, a roadblock, and I stopped, and I'm like, well, I haven't been drinking. I'm fine. Yeah. Right? Well, do I smell? No, of course. Not. Yeah. Look at you. you. You're a smart guy. Yeah. I'm a yeah. smart guy, right? And, uh, and, so, and so the cop comes to the door, my window's down, and he's he, like, when he kinda, excuse me, sir? He kind of looks, he looks in, and he's just looking at me, and I'm going, no, I've been through a roadblock a million times. I'm fine. Keep telling myself, I'm not stoned. I'm not stoned. There's no way. And he's looking at me. He just had this look on his face. He's like, where are you come from? And I wasn't going to be like, oh, I'm coming from a weed show. I just yeah. said, oh, I was doing a, a, a comedy show. And he goes, oh, you're a comedian. I'm like, uh-huh. Yeah. And, uh, and he goes, oh, and he just kind of looked at me. He goes, and you're okay. And I'm like, yeah, nope, never drank. And yeah. I remember him saying, I didn't ask if you drank. And I went, oh, shit. Oh. Okay, you're asking. You got me. You'll ask the questions <laughs> yeah. when you ask them. But he just had this really strange. I was ant- I was doing everything right, but he had this really strange look on his face, like looking at me like, what is wrong with you? And I was fine. So he's like, all right, well, get home. Make sure, you know, just get home safe. You and may as well like, have okay. just said like, didn't murder anyone. He's yeah, like, yeah, I, I didn't yeah. ask you. <laughs> exactly. So I, I, we, I drive through. She was already there. And I'm go- yeah, that's right. <laughs> and I'm going, and I'm going, what the hell, man? And I'm looking, and I'm looking in the rear view, and I'm like, that was really strange. I don't look stoned. I don't, yeah. I, I feel kind of funky. But then I looked down, I was wearing a white shirt, and I remember I looked down at the Chevron. I had bought a large bag of ketchup potato chips. Oh, man. They're sitting on my lap. <laughs> I never once took them off my lap to talk to the cop. I sat there and had red ketchup chips all over, <laughs> all over your and chest. I was eating while I was talking to him. So <laughs> the whole time, Log eat, factor five. I was just sitting there eating, going because as I'm driving away, I'm still eating, looking yeah. in the river, going what? The? And I'm realizing I'm like, oh shit! I was like, nah, man, how's it going? Just eating, like like I'm watching cops. From, yeah, the, yeah, 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 from yeah. the window of my like, car, that, just that like, this is great. Yeah. So that I cop was like, was like uh, "Go with peace, my son." Yeah, you, you, have, a lot, <laughs> you have a lot going He's on. He's like, right "I'd now. rather you drink right now." <laughs> Go in <laughs> peace. Go I'd in peace, my son. But now, so twelve years later, uh, uh, well, that that was a couple years ago. But now, yeah, now I'm so I'm smoking weed and. And, um, you know, not chronically, but I'm just, no, it's nice. It's a nice change. Uh, it lets you uh, sort your uh, white run home in Skyrim. It's honestly yeah. really nice in video games. Although, I, like I said, I think it does kind of derail you in terms of you'll mm-hmm. find yourself, I find myself anyway. I find real <laughs> RPG shit happening. Like when yeah. I, well, when I, I find myself yeah. in the menus for way too long, adjusting settings or adjusting inventories. That I'll I have do no, that. I'm for, like, what am I doing? When I, yeah, when I, yeah, I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll do that um, for a bit for sure. But also too, the, 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 the help in the writing, it, it really is. Mm-hmm. It's I'm, I'm finding myself writing differently. I'll put it that way. I'm writing differently because I'm, I'm still always am writing. But mm-hmm. I'm not going to the open mics and doing that. I'm sitting on a on a fuck ton of material right now. Do you find that you go down like first... weird rabbit holes in your writing? Where oh you get, like, yes. You're just oh, suddenly yes. you're just like, wow, I went oh, yeah. there for I'll some reason. Oh yeah. I'll start with this and I'll end up way down there. You're like, going, okay. No, no, anyway, no, let's <laughs> bring it stick back. Stick from first base to second base. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to get out of the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. stands. Because I have a little bit of experience writing, like even just like. Apology letters, probably. Yeah, mostly. Jeez. To my fan. To my family. Nuclear, <laughs> excellent. That um, was a nuclear. But no, like heat. just even like, just ideas for like just in my work, like with games and stuff like yeah. that. And I find I go down rabbit holes with thought, and I'm like, oh, what about this? And like, hmm, what about this edge case? What if the player did this? What if they tried? And yeah. I'm like, hold on, no, 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 that. Why are you? It's <laughs> not important. Board. That's not One important thing. right now. That's, that's like, yeah. oh, not it's an hour later. Yeah. 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 yeah, and it's yeah. just like it's, I've yeah. gone too that's far. That's a totally different game. It's yeah. You're developing useful. two games at yeah. once. Yeah, but at the yeah. same time, it is a helpful exercise to explore different avenues like sure. that. Sure. Yeah, and I so because you've been there, so you're like, okay. Yeah, and it's funny because like Be when careful. I when I started doing comedy, I didn't smoke. I wasn't smoking weed. Uh, uh, you know, I've always been a social drinker. I like to drink and stuff. But I, I I've never I never smoked weed and use that as a tool or whatever. But I'm finding it just. Because when I start writing, of course, you know, like I am a very hyper person. When I do start writing, get into a rhythm, I'm like, okay, and then I can focus. But I will trail off, even, you know, so much, whatever. Yeah. I will, yeah, I'll, I'll. But writing some of that, and I'm not like getting so stoned, like, oh, this is good, like a stoner. I'm not going to be doing stoner jokes now. 
But um, I'm just finding that I'm finding more of a different flow, and I'm liking it. I'm yeah. really liking it. And the flow of writing that I'm now doing, I'm finding I want, it's motivating me more. Oh, I want to try these jokes mm. more now. Whereas before I'd write something and be like, mm, I don't know. And well, that's the, the thing. Doubt, like, it's kind of like, you know. I, I see in your, what your approach is right now. Like, you have like a pretty fucking blank slate you can take here. Like, the, mm -hmm. if your opening premise is just that like, you know what? I realized I had to lose some weight and I had to lose some fucking habits and yeah. some bad habits. And yeah. I, I picked up some uh, along yeah. the way, you know, like, like whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just kind of go into literally whatever, because yeah. you've set the table for this, like Alice in Wonderland kind of fucking journey where yeah. you're like, you're like, I'm losing mental fat. Well, yeah. And you know, I mean, like, a lot of people think like, that, yeah. oh my God, he's, you know, he's a party comic. He just drinks and like, oh, he does blow. It's like fun. Ask any comedian. Have, have you ever seen me do blow? No, I don't. It's just, it's, that's actually, people think that. That, people I think mean, you do because your energy because of is my energy so high but like i'll be at a bar talking to somebody and a girl will be like oh my god this guy's on so much cocaine right now and i'm like no actually i'm not i'm yeah. just a hyper person she's like whatever do you have any cocaine right yeah. now yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's just like, I'm like it's not like you're being pretty critical yeah, back yeah, there yeah, projecting no. a tiny yeah. bit exactly yeah. but i mean i don't think i'll be smoking weed and trying the jokes no. i i think it's just it's just a chill factor i'm just really i'm just chilling right now these it's days. the it's the and fucking it's nice. gym you need to go to the well, open mics and fuck it is. I haven't been working out. Gym. I haven't been working out the jokes. I have. I have not been mm -hmm. going That's to That's helpful. the gym got, or the, the or, gym. or the comedy. You got to go to really. comedy gym and you got to try out these fucking. But jokes. a lot of uh, yeah. No, I was gonna say a lot of uh, a lot of my fellow comics uh, are, are you know, well. It's in. They're like, dude, what are you doing, man? Like, get down to the open mics. What are you doing? And there's so many fucking awesome. There's a lot of rooms I haven't been to. I actually can look you at do the, a tour. Oh, yeah. Steve McGowan <laughs> open mic tour. Open mic tour. Just for yourself though. Yeah. Don't, it's just for you. Yeah. And, uh, no, but I <laughs> sell shirts. No, sell shirts to your open the mic tour. And That's... then I'm, and then walk up like I just headlined. You did three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> just after the third yeah. comic, and be like, yeah, well, yeah. to me on a sign up. To me, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I went. I got the yeah. lottery spot. Yeah, to me, I you know I'm headlining in my heart right didn't now. Didn't bullet. Yeah. But I need to. I need to do because there's. I you look at the Vancouver Comedy Forum thing. Um, also, you just want to see comics shit on other comics. God, things are good read while you're taking a dump but it's got <laughs> a lot of good postings for what wait wait what is it Vancouver the Vancouver Comedy Forum it, it's great for the, having the postings and stuff but sometimes it, it's, you can just get caught up in the did some really silly well, shit. Well, comics on talk shit about other comics. What the hell, what? right? Yeah. This is a new Fuck. concept. But but uh, uh, thought it was about the joke. But they have a <laughs> lot of <laughs> postings on there about these new shows are coming out. And I'm like, shit, man. I maybe know of like a small handful, and there's a lot. I'm like, shit. This is how much I have not been going to the open mics, and there's so many of these. So it's like I need to start hitting these, and it will really. Feel, it feels like it's my first month. I'm like, shit. Who did this? I, who's running this? Plus, room? you'll know what you like from the stuff you're trying and you'll yeah. be able to easily make some decisions I'm sure well, about other things right. that oh, totally. you're I want to take on, that right? one joke right. and, and you know try it at all 15 different sure yeah you know and do that for six months before or I get whatever it, right? yeah right? yeah. like think about this in because in out of all this material I have maybe 10% of it's going to be usable well right? sure well that's well, got to be a high number yeah of but check it things, out like, right yeah. like yeah. but like percentages aside like that's not even really the story no. the story is this no. in 10 years from now yeah are you going to say that during, quite honestly, the largest proliferation of both rooms and, and comedy in general in our entire lifetime, yeah. during this time, you were like more focused on these other aspects of your life yeah. or were you more focused on getting your comedy back together or something like that? Because in 10 years' time, everyone's going to say, where were you when the bounty was fucking flowing <laughs> in? Are you, oh, you going to yeah. say, like, I was yeah. fucking, I was collecting potions and I was Skyrim. collecting potions in Whiterun, motherfucker. That's right. That's what I was doing. That's what I'm trying it's to say. It's a decent yeah. potion shop in Whiterun, though. It, it, it really yeah. is. Yeah. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah. yeah. And my, my alchemy has gotten... Yeah. Pretty decent. Good, pretty decent. <laughs> and it wants the rags on my. I don't know why I'm <laughs> Bill Cosby all of a sudden. When you go to Skyrim and then you're. I don't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's a kind of a. Yeah, he's a good One thing, though, there, that, you know? um, that I'd heard. Making the potions for the pudding and the ladies <laughs> and, the, and the Skyrim and the raping. I don't know. If Bill Cosby I and Norm MacDonald were. Ah, uh, yeah, like, uh, you know, back when you were raping all those girls. You know? <laughs> Yeah, Goal. yeah. I, I would never talk. I would never talk about that. But uh, oh, yeah, you know, you're a smart fella. What do you got? Like seven hundred albums or something? <laughs> but I like the one I've heard uh, before. Some <laughs> people can so fucking stupid. It's not sorry, a hand good. over here. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, go what ahead. I mean is that some people that I've heard can kind of 
almost train them, and that's kind of loose, but train themselves so that sometimes weed is just purely recreational. They just they hang out with friends, mm -hmm. and that's kind of it's a good time. That's probably kind of where yeah, I'm at on that's it. That's where I'm at. Whereas yeah. other people, like artists or whatever, they smoke weed, and they can be the creativity turns on for them because they've kind of they'll start yeah. to do it, and then yeah. they make sure that when they do that. They go and paint. Yeah, and I'm, they I'm just be creative. Yeah, I'm and finding, so now you're like in that yeah. zone. So when you do it, you're like, your mind's totally. already firing on those levels. What it's levels. doing for me that I'm finding, totally, totally agree. What I'm finding for me is is my mind, like I can sit there and be like, oh, that's kind of whatever and get all kind of creative. But I'm so all over the place in, mm. in my head, as you know, we all are for the most part. And But I'm finding that the weed is kind of, it's just chilling me out. It's just calming me down and going, hey, wait a minute. This is what you need to be doing. So it's not it's not like I'm smoking a joint and go, oh man, that would be fun. I'm going, I need to write, mm -hmm. and then I just get it's it's more focusing at the task at hand rather than yeah, the yeah, ideas. Yeah. That's great. Um, ideas could come from it. I don't know. It's I'm just ex I'm experimenting. That's great, brother. <laughs> Fantastic, brother. I'm gonna keep you on track. I'm gonna I'm gonna send, I'm gonna pass you this culty uh, keto keto pamphlet for losing weight. Oh yeah. Okay. So check it out. I'm gonna oh, well, I'm gonna sort you out look, and yeah. and I'm gonna motivate you to go all these fucking open mics. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a lot of questions. I know Mike's not here, but I think Mike started doing ketos, and that's actually Mike. So this is the outcome. <laughs> 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 Mike, you, you end up looking like uh, like Yes, <laughs> 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 I like, Seymour is actually not here. Mike is, and that's Mike's going. That is doing ketos. Really funny. Uh, this <laughs> that is really funny. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, bud. But I lost a bunch of weight, bud. What? The fuck, fuck, you talking about? Fucking. Oh. Lost a lot of weight. What is wrong with me? That is actually a motherfucking <laughs> hell of a way to close the show, and I think that's how we're gonna do this. Cool. Uh, Steve McGowan. If people want to follow you online, how can they do so, At sir? The Steve McGowan. And you guys can catch him live on his open mic tour coming up. <laughs> yeah, coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Or, or uh, at some actual real shows. Yep. Um, Actually, you are headlining. No joke. You are he you're headlining Laugh Lines in July. July. Yeah. It's a good and, name uh, for a show, though. No joke. No. Oh, okay. Let's. He's he just got to get his two cents. Can't get no respect. Hey, 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 I was hanging uh, with I Simon. I bet your mother was something before electricity. Hey. I was hanging with Simon <laughs> King. Hey, honey, you want to earn ten, ten dollars the hard way? Hey. <laughs> that's that's can't get no respect. Can't get no respect. I was hanging with Simon All the King. Time. Simon All the King time. doing his Simon thing, King man. is a good guy. <laughs> nice kid. Coming up. Coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Love Simon. Simon King. Good good energy on the kid, you know, but hey. <laughs> Dude, he was doing Rodney Dangerfield. He should, he should be more hyper. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield's Star Wars joke. Yeah. He had a, a fucking uh, like a Kessel Run joke that was... Oh, I, I love Simon. I, just I awesome. was actually hanging with... Uh, in the back with uh, Ivan Decker laughing our asses off yeah. about it. Fucking... I'll tell you what, though. Um, Steve McGowan, you're a very funny guy. Thank you. We think you're awesome. I'm going to take you. his vest off. Thank you very much. God damn. How dare you? I don't feel very safe. I'll keep mine on. I don't yeah. feel very safe is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> take this fucking uh, thing off, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, this was a hilarious joke, that by, uh, by the way, Seymour. Um, awesome. This added to everything. Uh, Steve McGowan? Yes. You've exited fuck Steve McGowan zone. You're back to friend of the uh, show. Am I already? I feel, I, maybe I'm not out of there. Yeah, Seymour is saying Not no, at all. I don't not know, at man. All. You're letting Seymour me off the hook pretty good. Yeah, Seymour says no. Firmly in I'd even say fuck Steve McGowan. Oh, here we go. I was trying to get... How do you get me to say it? I'll say fuck Steve. I'll I was hoping all evening. <laughs> I am a piece of shit. You tell Doomsday nothing. Because <laughs> 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 yeah. my face is really all I've got left going for me, if that. Rather than not have it removed <laughs> with a punch. Uh, perfect. Yeah. What a, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now you tell him he's a gentleman. Yeah. Uh, I like his work. Uh, on other people <laughs> ladies and gentlemen if you would like to uh, support the show we'd love it if you leave us a review go ahead and search us on iTunes we are intergalactic interviews and you can search us on iTunes and on Stitcher and on YouTube you guys All are the way. Crushing, man. thank you very much we are, this is a great show we are trying our goddamn best but you know what we are really hopeful and counting on all y'all to uh, continue to support us so thank you for doing that we love you guys so much and uh, I won't announce next week's guest in the hopes that they'll actually show up. So <laughs> that's how we'll keep this going. Ladies and gentlemen, we love you so much. Fuck We're Steve McGowan. Yeah. Woo! We love this shit. Uh, we love you guys too. And uh, guess what? Uh, as always, we'll uh, see you next week. Bye.